how to know if you're an introvert or an extrovert. These are a few ways that I have been able to kind of distinguish the two, and I don't really hear a lot of people talking about these ways, so these are just some kind of um, informal qualitative things that I have noticed personally. I'm sure it was really blending into the background. Oh, we can't really see anything. Okay. Um, I'll ask them like, what were you like when you were like five or six years old? Because when you're a child, you're a more extreme version of yourself. So some people will answer that question like, oh, they were talking to everybody and they would talk to the mailman and they would talk to all their friends and they were constantly wanting to play and they were banging on the pots and pans and stuff like that. Whereas some people are like, um, when you were little, you didn't talk to anyone, you read, you just stayed in your room, you were perfectly quiet, you were very still, you didn't talk to anyone, you were really shy. Um, and so I think that's a good indicator to be able to tell if you're an introvert or extrovert. Just look at how you were when you were really young and when you were less well balanced and that's kind of an indicator. A third way to tell is like most of the time in conversation um, and when you're going to an event, do you initiate new topics of conversation more often or do you just kind of respond and go deeper on the topic already at hand? Um, same goes with events. Like do you initiate the events and you invite other people to them or are you the one being invited a lot of the time? And everyone will do both at certain times, but it's a matter of which do you do more of? Because everyone has an introverted function, everyone has an extroverted function. So you're gonna be doing both all the time, but it's a matter of which are you doing more of? And finally, kind of the last way, which I think was the most helpful for me, is to look at what are you like when you're unhealthy? If you go through a month where you're just really not in a good place, does that tend to show itself as being very busy and spreading yourself too thin? Because that can be a quality of extroverts. Um, to being too busy, I'm never gonna stop, never gonna slow down, I'm not gonna face this thing, I'm just gonna make myself very busy and avoid uh, with friends or with projects um, or with my body, but basically we're gonna do anything we can to avoid the situation at hand by remaining busy. Um, the introversion style, on the other hand, would be moping and I'm going to stay stagnant. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to sit here and watch Netflix all the time. And this is also another style of avoiding, but it's an avoidance by becoming a sloth, by becoming paralyzed. Um, it could be really uh, overanalyzing in your thoughts. It could be overanalyzing in your emotions, but really just getting too deep in the rabbit hole and being very stagnant. But you know, everyone gets in a bad place and when you're in a bad place, you're just going to do what's easy, you're just trying to survive, you're not trying to go above and beyond, so you're certainly not gonna do anything that drains you. And the opposite would be true when you're healthier. Um, so for an introvert, when you're healthier, um, you're gonna feel a little bit more extroverted, you're gonna feel like you have more energy, you're gonna want to be around people, you're gonna want to initiate things, maybe you'll want to throw parties, because you're in such a good space that something that's draining you now have energy for. And same goes for extroverts. When you're in a healthier spot, it for you would be draining to be in introversion all the time, but because you're in a good spot, you have the energy for it. So you tend to be more balanced. So yeah, that is that video. Um, like different ways to tell if you're an introvert or an extrovert. Um, I hope you found that helpful. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any other ways that you found um, are easy to identify introverts and extroverts. Thanks so much for watching, bye.